Right, we all know that I won the showdown. <laughs> we all know <laughs> that. Yeah, I won just that. about. But um, from Tycho, we're now going down to the documentary business with James. That's what he's here for. Yes. So Peter Cook documentary. Here's a clip from the documentary, and then we'll have a chat to you after. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. Stephen Fry called him the funniest person who ever drew breath. While his comedy partner Dudley Mawson, he was the wittiest man he had ever known. I'm of course talking about the legendary comedian Peter Cook. Peter was the founding father of the satire boom in Britain. He was the man who gave David as creator Barry Humphreys his first British gig and resurrected the career of the then Asian Frank Howard. I titty he not. He even managed to save Sir David Cross from drowning, but he later regretted that and who could blame him? For me, Peter was at his best when he was performing with Dublin Moore in their now infamous Pete and Dublin teams where the two were always sat with a pint in hand discussing a variety of topics including art, law or even bloody Greta Garbo. Peter was born on the 17th of November 1937 in the famed seaside Riviera town of Torquay in Bosnia Road. The house was within cheering distance of Playmore, the home of Torquay United, a team he supported all his life along with Spurs. Cook was brought up by his grandmother because his father Alexander was a diplomat in Nigeria and his mother Margaret didn't want the young Peter growing up there. As Cook explained himself, I was conceived in Nigeria but born in Devon because my mother was obsessed with newborn babies catching malaria in the middle of downtown Lagos so I was reared in Torquay. Cook was expected to follow his father into the diplomatic services but as he said himself we simply ran out of colonies. Then Cambridge University where he became a star of the Cambridge Footlights Review. He went on to work with Dudley Moore, Alan Bennett and Jonathan Miller in what was to be known as Beyond the Fringe. Peter's presence as a seminal force in British comedy has impacted on the likes of Eddie Izzard, Christopher Morris, Smith and Jones and even Monty Python. We know that Peter will always be remembered as a giant of British comedy and his presence will still be felt in years to come. And although countless people will claim that Peter influenced them, Torquay is the only place who can truly claim to be home of the local boy done good. Wonderful there. Thank you. Not only but also. Um, explain the title. Um, two reasons. Uh, not only but also was the name of Peter Cook and Dudley Moore's comedy series in 1965 on BBC television. And also it's called Not Only But Also because uh, the documentaries about Peter Cook, Dudley Moore, Frankie Howard, Barry Humphreys, Kenneth Williams, selection John Cleese, so many comments. different comedians. Of big names in there. Mm. So that's obviously a segment from the documentary. Yes. Is this part of a documentary series? Yes it is. So yes. I'm going to explore all of those comedians that I've mentioned a second ago. So you'll explore yes. all different avenues. And, uh, yeah, and there's, there's connections between them are quite interesting. Um, for example, Peter Cook, uh, when he was at university, wrote for Kenneth Williams um, in One Over the Eight. In 1961, uh, which was very interesting because it's extraordinary. Peter had the ability back then to write such brilliant sketches like Hands Up Your Sticks and, um, and One Leg Too Few, which is one of the classic sketches, really. Yep, that one. Brilliant. I, mean, I have mm. no idea, to be honest, <laughs> that he did all this, no, this I writing I stuff as well. It's, it's interesting, mm. that's the fact why. That he wrote for Kenneth Williams, who, who went on to do the Yeah, uh, Peter, Peter Cook gave Barry Humphreys his first British gig, as I mentioned there. Mm. And um, without him, there would have never have been Dame Edna. We would not know Dame Edna here. We would not know Australia. We wouldn't know Dame Good. Edna. Good. I don't like Dame Edna. <laughs> Dame Edna Can't is a, Dame Edna. Edna. a fantastic Can't creation. Edna. Can't actually stand it. And I think the, the, the documentary um, is interesting because why I reason why I did it was is I think it's very important to explore your influences. Yeah. And I, as a comedian myself, I'm influenced by a lot of uh, yeah. Of course, old I, I mean, I've made a documentary myself. Okay. Um, Tommy Cooper. Because, like you said, it's exploring your, mm. exploring who you're, exploring. you know, who you're influenced well, I, by. I just find it really interesting that you're influenced by so many people from the past. You yeah. know, I'm influenced by um, a comedian called David Benson, who's an actor, and he's fantastic. He does one man shows about Kenneth Williams, and he played Noel Coward in Good Night Sweetheart. And I'm influenced by him, who's influenced by Kenneth, who's influenced by Noel Coward. It's That's wonderful. a century of influence there. I mean, it is. It's unbelievable. Also, I mean, mm. the way that all these comedians come together as well, which you'll yes. find out in James's day. If you watch the documentaries, you'll find out. They all come together and they all link Although in a they, weird sort of well, way. I think, they I think, have those yeah, I think yeah, that but and there's a lot more people because we're obviously within. Hmm. we're obviously here in Devon and here in Exeter, but there's a lot more comedians in around that have come from this area that a lot of people don't I know about. I think something that Kenneth said um, a few years ago, which was, um, "We're a portion of everything we've ever loved. It forms a tissue of who you are." I think that is very important, really, to take that and. 
it does make you who you are, you know, yeah. your, your influences, your love. Where loves. you come from, yes, and your yes, isn't very, it? yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it's wonderful. When's the documentary air? Um, it's next Thursday, next yep. Thursday, yes. That's brilliant. Uh, nine o'clock. So, so next Thursday. What was it on? BBC, BBC Two, obviously. Yeah, you watch that one. Yes. BBC Two next Thursday. It's a good channel. Um, hmm. So that'd be fantastic. Enjoy that one, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. Take care, and join us again next time.